Hey everybody, Canadian Gamer coming to you guys with a brand new build discussion video. Today we'll be talking about the awesome electric steel Pokemon, Togedemaru. Now Togedemaru is one of those Pokemon that I've been looking at and thinking, wow, this Pokemon could actually be viable. Like, it may not have the best basic stats, which is kind of sad actually, for it being such a defensive Pokemon. It's, like, when I mean defensive, I mean its abilities are all defensive abilities. Like, they're good at, you know, helping out in some form. So, let's go over him. He has the abilities Iron Barbs, which hurts an opponent if they cause physical damage. Long Reach avoids that, remember that. Lightning Rod, which makes use, uh, electric moves useless and increases special attack. And then, oh, no, it's speed, pardon me, speed, not special attack. And then Sturdy, which means can't be taken out by one hit KO, which means you can still have it in on a ground type Pokemon or a Pokemon that has a ground type and get off your Stealth Rocks, because I do believe this Pokemon does get access to Stealth Rocks and Spikes, which I, for one, I'm glad it does. Now, his HP is 65, so right there it's really low, and let me warn you guys, this Pokemon does not evolve. It, there's actually very few Pokemon in this generation that evolve. Now, it has 98 attack, which is nothing to laugh at. Like, it's still low, but man, I've been sweeping opponents today, actually, November 16th, on Pokemon... Uh, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire with a Seviper. So, you know, if this Pokemon gets set up, I could probably do the same thing. 96 speed, so it's not the worst speed Pokemon. Uh, 63 defense, which leaves it high and dry against those fighting type moves and even physical fire. Special attack is only 40, but obviously we're not going to use him for special attack. And 73 special defense. So once again, I'm thinking like maybe a fast, sturdy build. I When I seen the abilities, I was so excited. But now it looks like you're going to have to run its hidden ability unless you can somehow make use of the Iron Barbs. Oh, and before we get on to its move pool, we do have a new move called Zing Zap. A strong electric blast crashes down on the target, giving it an electric shock. This may, may also make the target flinch. 100% accuracy, 80 base power, physical. So that could be a good move. If this Pokemon got Volt Tackled, then that would be even better. So let's look at the egg moves. So reversal, present, encore, twin needle, wish, fake out, tickle, flail, and disarming voice. Other than flail using a sturdy set, or maybe wish and encore, not really much. Fake out could be good. It's about four moves. Uh, I'm not quite sure what Pokemon we'd have to breed with it to get that because, well, guess what? We don't know. I don't really want to look too much into the data mine because I don't want to spoil the story for me. I want the story to be completely unique. I'm already spoiling you guys with all these Pokemon. I know a lot of these were actually announced by um, Nintendo and Game Freak. Like All these Pokemon I believe I've done, we have seen. Except for Crabominable. I believe Crabominable is the only one that I've done that hasn't actually been officially revealed. But almost every other one. So we have Tackle, Thundershock, Defense Curl, Rollout, Spark, Charge, Nuzzle, Magnet Rise, Discharge, Zing Zap, Electric Terrain, Wild Charge, Pin Missile, Spiky Shield, and Fell Stinger. So, right there, we could use Magnet Rise to avoid the whole being weak uh, to ground. We could use Zing Zap, like we said down there. Electric Terrain, I wouldn't really run unless you're running a Tapu Koko on your team. Because Tapu Koko can set up Electric Terrain automatically with his uh, ability Electric Surge. or electric Is it Electric Surge or Electric Cool Surge? But that Wild Charge and Spiky Shield might be good. Wild Charge, I believe, is only 90 base power, though. So it's like one of the worst recoil moves. I believe it's the equivalent of Takedown, but with Electric Typing. So I'm thinking Spiky Shield for sure. And by the looks of it, it does not actually get access to Stealth Rocks or Spikes. Which... Probably makes it not a very good setup Pokemon. Like, I was looking at it before we even knew what it was, and I was expecting, like, some good stuff. So, uh, U turn, Wild Charge, Wild Charge. Um, but, you know, that's the same one. Yeah, never mind. It learns Wild Charge automatically. Thunderbolt, Rest, Attract, Poison Jab. I don't know. There's really not much to make Toki Damaru a very good Pokemon. I guess you could use it to, like, set up Reflect. But doesn't get light screen. I already know that Pokemon either get reflect or light screen, but never both in this generation. Um, so my on honestly, my build would probably be then Iron Barbs, maybe like leftovers, fake out, wish, encore, and then maybe like wild charge or uh Zing Zap. 
I don't know. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section below if you guys like this Pokemon. Like, if you look at it, it's it's an adorable little guy here. Like, ghost adorableness. But yeah, like, it's adorable, but I don't think it's really going to see much play. Once again, let's stamp this Pokemon for PU. Be done with it. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Remember, at 2.